like I said, back to building my wonderful abode. Let's uh, <laughs> speed this up a little bit. Oh, God, there he is! No! Oh, God! Oh! Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Pug Nation here. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting adventure in Pug's Quest. Where we get nothing done, fail at life, sad, so cold, so alone, no friends, no hope, not since the water boat elevator failed. In episode 6 or 7 or whatever episode this is because I'm not paying any attention. <laughs> Alright, but you know what? Enough of that sadness crap. We are now undaunted. Okay, we are a little daunted. Slightly daunted. But uh, we're moving on to the next best thing. Let's build a house down here. Let's get our uh, agriculture situation under control. Uh... I've only got a food, guys. I only got 12 bread. Um, I do have plenty of mushrooms, but of course, like an idiot, I left them up at the top of the mountain. And as we've just proved, I have no quick way to get to the top of the mountain, or as I proved in the last episode. So now the agriculture, or lack of agriculture, has become a very serious situation. Um, luckily, I have some bone meal. Well, actually, not many. I only have three bones. But uh, I could speed that up a little bit. Um, which will tide me over, but in the meantime, I'm going to want to set up a house down here so I don't have to battle my way through the night like I did um, in the previous episode. That is not what I need to be doing right now, especially when I'm running this low on food. Um, so let's just get that started. Tron Horse is done. Oh, oh, God, I looked at him. I looked at him. I looked at him. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so, so cold. So scared. Oh, my God. You hear that noise? Oh my god, Tron Horse, help me, help me. He still looks pissed, but he's not... Oh god. Get him! Get him, Tron! Oh, I just hit Tron Horse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boy. I'm so scared, though. Oh my god, that is nightmare. That is nightmare fuel right there. Okay. Okay, then. Well, that's over. Uh <laughs> Like I said, back to building my wonderful abode. Let's uh, <laughs> speed this up a little bit. Oh, God, there he is! No! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, my God, I just jumped like a foot. Dude, you can't do that. All right, dude, we're doing this right now. We're doing it! Yeah, coward! Sucker! Ooh! Ender Pearl! Now I could teleport to the top? You think? You think? Let's do it. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Woo! That was a terrible idea. Oh. 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 Wow. That was a terrible throw and very anticlimactic. Way to go. Nice throw, Pug. That went exactly nowhere. All right, well, we're back. We're back to square one then. Well, aren't we? Let's uh, speed up the agriculture if, assuming no more uh, terrors of the night are going to come and attack me. I'm just a simple farmer. Just a simple farmer, just growing my crops, trying to make a living for my family. It's tough here in the Minecraft world. I haven't even got a chance to build a home. I'm homeless still. Home well actually I'm not homeless. I have a I have a base that's made out of a tree, but it's way two hundred blocks up in the air, and I have no way of getting there. So let's make a nice home down here on the surface, right next to my crops. And uh uh that way I could sleep through the night and not have any more terrors attack me. I'm thinking I'll just go for a real simple uh this dark oak. Dark oak will do. Maybe put some cobblestone in it. But I think it'd make a nice little simple looking home. Ah! It'll keep me safe. And hopefully isn't too horrendously ugly like the tree house. 
<laughs> which was pretty ugly. There is so much wood in these trees. I love this. This is such a great resource. Good call, me, building in this biome. Good call. That's almost like, I wonder how much there was just from harvesting that one tree. Let's see. Almost a stack. 50. 50. 51. I'm not, I think I had a couple of those before I cut that tree down, but that's amazing. But okay. Let's get to work. Let's level out a little area here. Make a nice little foundation. I don't know how big I want to make the home. Hopefully not too big. But bigger than the treehouse. The treehouse was way too small, actually. I'd like to have more than one room, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Tron Horse knows what I'm saying. Eventually, I need to go find a... Um, there's a swamp biome by um, the spawn point. The original spawn point, that is. That I didn't really spend any time at in episode one that we left right away. Um, the reason I care about that is that slimes will spawn in there and that I could get some slime balls and then I can make, uh, leads leads. I believe, I think those need one, um, slime ball and then I could lead more horses to safety without having to, uh, swim around the perimeter of the, the ocean here, swim around the coast. That would be a lot easier. Uh, that's a pretty good foundation. Let's go ahead and start building. Um, for now, I'll just make one story. Uh, make it one, two, three, four tall. Eh, we can make two stories. Why not? Uh, we'll have it five wide. Real simple, though. Well, seven wide, I guess. There's five in between them. Two, three, four. Uh, we'll have it go back to here. Two, three, four. Just put a torch here so I don't forget and I don't have mobs spawning behind my house in the middle of the night. Which is a thing that I'm sure will happen. Uh, let's connect them like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drunk pug trying to build a house. Not going so well. <laughs> oh, we better torch this up. Otherwise, I'm going to be getting harassed. Why am I building a house through the night? You're supposed to build a house before the night, pug nation. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's the whole point of a home. Not to be harassed at all hours of the night. And this should make me pretty safe, I think. Let's torch around here. Should make me okay. Okay, I feel pretty safe. Oh, how about right here? Boop. There we go. Right there. And make me a little bit safer. Just expanding my safety radius. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good. I'm gonna be safe tonight. I don't even need a home. Don't even need a home. Tron Horse would like a home though. He deserves it. All right, that's good. That's actually that'll do fine. Although maybe I should make the house one taller. Hmm hmm hmm. Not so sure. Oh man, I gotta stop sprinting. I'm running out of food. Forgot about that. I don't have 50 bread anymore. I was so spoiled in the uh, first episodes. I had. Spent all that time before I had met you guys. Spent all that time gathering all those crops together. And I was able to just kind of uh, do whatever I wanted willy-nilly. Eat um, as much as I wanted. But now I'm running low on food. Okay, we'll just put a door there. And then, um, I don't know. Let's see how this looks. I've never built with the dark wood. So maybe this... Looks okay. We'll put a window there. Um, we'll just have it be one tall. Um, you know what? That looks fine. That'll do for now. I actually, I don't mind that look. I don't mind that look at all. I don't think it's too bad. Tron horse is all the way up there. Floating, apparently. He's a magical Tron horse in this episode. Way to go, Tron. Must have leveled up. Going on all those adventures, I'd never take him on. Sorry about that, Tron. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. Watch me build this house. It's way more exciting than anything else you could be doing. As all the YouTube watchers go, oh my god. Get this house built over with. All right. That'll do Um, for now. Let's see. I'll just make it one story for now. If I want, if I'm running out of room... 
I could build story number two, but for now, I really just want to have a place to live down here on the surface. Looks like we're going to have to cut down another tree because um, I've run out of wood. And let's see, did I make it an odd number? I did. That's good. Made it an odd number. Let's get some glass finally fired up so we can fill in the window so I don't have Skelly shooting into the windows. That would be bad. Just get one furnace going. I don't have any coal, I believe, so we'll just make one charcoal brick. Have that fire up some more of this, uh, some more of this dark oak wood. Give me some fuel so that I can fire the furnace and make glass. And then I'll put the roof on, and that. Call it a day. Put a Oh, I got to put a bed in there, too, so I could actually set my spawn point. Oh, I could do that right now. What am I doing? It doesn't have to be nighttime. Set your spawn point, silly. Now that I got the roof up, it's no problem. All right. Four walls and not quite a ceiling. Boop. Hopefully nothing falls on me. Yeah, all right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Finally set my spawn point. Get some more dark oak wood. Put the roof on. And then, once the agriculture is uh, going a bit more, we can start focusing on that rail system. That way I don't have to keep climbing the mountain every time I want to get... From up there to down here. Ah oh, man, I can't stand having like floating trees, so I gotta I gotta get all of it. It just drives me crazy. Alright, perfect, perfect. This is more than enough. Pugnation contributing to global warming and deforestation since 2012. You're all welcome. Alright. Get some glass in there. We can finally get some glass. Make some stairs. Bam. It's probably not enough, actually. It's a pretty big house. I didn't realize how big I was making it. Just get enough because I don't feel like coming back. All right, that should be good. That's a whole stack. Get my dirt block out. And throw the roof on. And this will take a minute, so I'm going to cut, and I will meet you when I once the roof is on. All right, roof is almost done. Let's just put on the finishing touches. Boop, boop, boop. Dink, 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 dink. And let's step back and see how that looks. Shut the door. And boom! Mm, ugly. <laughs> uh, that's okay though. Uh, it's a first house. We'll decorate the front. We'll we'll add some nice touches to it as time goes by. But uh, for now, I think this is perfect. I think it's a beautiful start. Well, that looks a little better. I think it's a good start. Uh, yeah, it's a good start. Uh, we still got to do the interior. Uh, right now I'm sleeping on a combination, a nice combination recommended to me by my realtor and interior decorator of sand, dirt, and stone. It goes so well together. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a first house. We got my agricultural operation going, and we will start the rail system to go to the top soonish, someday. All right, Tron Horse, carry us away into the moonlight. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this episode and you would like to see more just like it. And I will see you all, I hope, very, very soon.